In this video I'll be showing you guys how to make a water-based clay styling cream. It's just amazing. It makes your hair feel soft at the end. You'll really love this stuff, I think. Spending a lot of time lately trying to come up with a clay that you guys wanted uh, using only the ingredients I have. Um, if you watched my last video on the oil-based pomade, you'll know the whole story with ingredient-wise. I'm running low on pretty much everything. And... Uh, but whatever, I would go, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and watch that video, at least the beginning part where I talk about all that. I um, just wanted to go over a couple things before we get into this. Real quick, if you're making this pomade, I'm making this super small scale today, 25 gram batch, because again, I'm running low on ingredients. You're, of course, going to make that in a larger batch. Um, so what you're going to want, definitely, is one of those electric hand blenders. And large quantity of all your products obviously so you can make a bigger amount this is clay and clay absorbs a lot more than the other products so you're going to want to use more preservative and more scent than you typically would and also expect your clay to harden over time so meaning like if you make it today within a week it might be slightly harder and eventually get to a point where it won't keep getting harder but um, as the clay absorbs more of that moisture uh, it'll harden up a little bit. It's going to be matte, so it's not going to be extra shiny. It's nice, it's white, whitish, off-white if you will. I don't know if you're getting good focus on that, but... Comes off fairly hard. Consistency of typical clay. I mean, it's, you know, I say it's a hair cream, it's not really. It's definitely a clay, but it's not... It's not like one of those super hard clays where you need the back of your nail to get it out of the container. It's just your average clay, styling clay. Alright? And it spreads very nicely. Okay, you're going to work that into your palms. Rub it on your hair. Work it into your hair, of course, like any other clay, it's going to show up white at first. Work it in, it'll, it'll go away, that white color. Um, what else? Of course, if you did watch the other video, you'll know I did add a donation button at the top of my homepage, top right side of it. Um, if you'd like, feel feel free to donate. Um, I'm not asking you to, but if you wanted to, you can go ahead and do that. What else? What else? So, while I was coming up with this video, I debated about whether or not I should either just explain to you guys how to make it, or actually show you guys how to make it. Um, because I'm not making this in a big batch, like I said before, it's not going to be quite the same way you're going to make it. So, I don't want to confuse anyone when making this. You don't want to follow me exactly, you know. During the parts that are going to be different, I'll explain to you what to do different. But, I decided in the end to go ahead and actually video it. Because I think it would be pretty boring just explaining to you the step by step. And I think it would be super confusing. Um, so, we'll get into it. I'll show you guys what to do. And the parts that differ from what I'm going to be doing, I'll explain to you how to do that. Because again, you're going to want to do this in a larger batch, and you're going to want to use that hand blender. That'll allow you to add the preservative and to add the scent like you, like you should be. Okay? Um, Alright, let's get right into it. Hey guys, real quick, I know this is going to look out of place randomly in this video because I forgot to add it when I initially recorded. But I do have another channel I just started, Julo Scratcher TV. Um, on that channel, I scratch lotto tickets in New York State. And if I hit anything $300 or greater, 10% will go back to one of my subscribers. It costs nothing to subscribe, so you may want to check it out. Even if you don't actually like the videos, just hit the um, subscribe button to that channel for a chance to possibly win. Okay, guys, so now we'll get back into the regular video. Alright, getting right into this. Back to my glass beaker. Reason for the glass beaker versus metal on this one it's because of the clay clay doesn't really clay bentonite clay is char has a charge to it when it touches metal it tends to discharge so to keep its properties I try to use I try to stay away from metal you will be metal free until you get to the blending stage which I don't know of any blenders out there that don't have metal on them if you can find a blender that doesn't have metal stick with that um, but yeah otherwise you're gonna be kind of forced to use metal so some of the properties of the clay will be lost but the clay is still really good for your hair and skin so all right let's get right into this we want to start off with turning the scale on right that might help okay all right 
17 grams distilled water. Ooh, and I'm way over. Alrighty. That's why I keep a handy vial for sucking out extra water. Alright, 17 of water. Next, we want to go 0.25 of polysorbate 80. Rather than restart the scale, I'm just going to keep it on this time. Do whatever you guys feel more comfortable with. But it's easy enough to just get to 725 and not worry about it. Or 1725, sorry. Okay, after that, although this is unmarked, it is PEG-40 castor oil. The uh, oil ran down and kind of rubbed off the uh, ink there. So this we want also 0.25, which is, should bring us to 17.5 on the scale. Super hard to control this stuff, so we're probably going to go a little over. Okay, wow. I'm going to stop there because anything more will go over. Okay, at this point we're going to want to let the water and the polysorbate 80 and the PEG 40 kind of sit for a bit. It'll let itself mix up, give it 20 minutes or so. Um, it should all blend together fairly well. Kind of stir it every once in a while, shake the vial, and uh, we'll check in when that's all done. Alright, next. Four and a half grams of PEG-8 beeswax. This should bring us to 22 on the scale. Okay guys, so now that all but one ingredient are added. What we're going to do is, again, let it sit for a little bit longer, and then we'll go to the cooking stage. I'll show you guys what it looks like when we cook. Clay is added after the cook, so I'll check back in a little bit later. Okay guys, we're cooking. We've only been cooking like uh, two minutes or so. This is when the product's going to become white. Notice how it's turned white now? This is Part number one, when if you've got a hand mixer, this is when you want to use it, okay? Because it blends fine on its own, but having a hand blender would be ideal here. Really mix everything up very, very well. Okay, this really doesn't take very long, as you can see, it's mint, it's mostly mixed up. I'm gonna give it maybe two more or three more minutes, and then we'll move on to adding the clay. I'll show you what that looks like when I get to that point. Okay guys, so this is when the hand blender is very important because as you can see, um, we've blended everything up that we had in here before. It's white now, like milk. I don't know if you can see that, but it's white like milk. Um, this is when we're going to add our scent. So you're going to want to add a little more scent than you're used to. So in this case, I'm going to add three drops. Usually I would add one, two. Um, because remember, like I said before, Bentonite clay tends to absorb all that a lot better. So we're just going to add preservative now. We're going to add uh, one gram of it. I'm running out of battery, so I'm going to try to make this quick. One gram of the preservative. In this case, if you're making a larger batch, obviously multiply it. Okay. Um, 
and then you want to add your three grams of bentonite clay. Now this is where we're going to totally differ. Mine's going to be screwed up kind of because what is going on here? Oh, I got the spoon in it or the knife. So three grams of this. You guys are going to be blending this, so it's going to blend into a nice creamy paste that you'll still be able to pour. That's the difference. When I make it, I can't pour it because I'm hand mixing it. And by the time I get to do all this, it's too thick to actually pour into anything. Because it, so this is where it's going to differ, guys. You want to use that hand blender. It'll turn into a thick, nice white cream. You'll pour that into your plastic containers, refrigerate it. I'll show you guys what it looks like at the end. Stay tuned. And here is the finished product. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for future videos, and share this video. Thank you.